This is the Industrious Guy Podcast. Split screen. No, the re- you know what? The reason I wanted to... Um, and I'm going to start right in, I guess. Let's do it. Because I need your help. All right. This is, this is feedback that I've gotten that I need your help in helping me. That I need to relax. Man. I am like super tense or, or I am too, um, I, I'm caught up in like, you know, the screen's not looking right. It's not working. Uh, the sound, you know, whether or not you're talking into the mic, I'm too high maintenance or I'm too stressed out about trying to get it right. And I do because, or I worry about that because of the fact that I want it to be decent because I feel like if I could sit down and plug this shit in and, and go, then I could have a sense of relax. But every time I've done this, every time I do it, there's something else that's wrong. Something else that gets screwed up. Something else that I overlook. Something that I didn't tweak or fix or or look into like the split screen and the third mic and it going black and it not being this. So I'm trying to relax, but I need your help in helping me to learn how to do that. I don't know if this is going to help you, but uh, I would, I'm not going to sense th- it. No, I, I mean, or you just know I, I li- that's the way I am. Yeah. I like it. I appreciate it. I think that touches on strengths and weaknesses and I get it. A hundred percent because with cars, like what, you know, what'd you roll up on troubleshooting? You know, what are we doing? We got problems and we're trying to fix them. So yeah, I I don't, I think when I call you, when I make fun of you for being uptight, (laughs) it's literally the only thing I can make fun of you about. So I don't, I, I think that I'm with you and I have the same issues, but I think that the people that say that we're not doing things right or if we're doing this or if 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 that's how you feel but if somebody's telling you that i would say that one of the things i'm going to start doing they're not telling me that i'm uptight they're telling me to relax and 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 let it let it's okay like to so do you tell them that you're relaxed well no because i'm you know i say i am well i do tell you are relaxed i I am i am relaxed but i'm uptight because i'm not putting together the 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 product or, or the video that I want to put together. I do like, there's something wrong. And I, you know, and it's, it's not out of, well, it's out of ignorance, you know, because I don't know what I'm doing or I don't know uh, that that was going to be an issue because it's not something that I've ran into before because not, I've never done this before. Mm-hmm. Are you taking notes? No, not really. I mean, a little bit. Tyler needs to relax. No, no, I think I said, well, I said, Tyler thinks he is high strung. I want to put another, well, and add something to that. That's, I think you're not, I think you're, you're naturally someone that's always going to be shooting for the best. And, and that's just how you are. And we're never going to, I don't think we're ever, that, that whole of what we're looking for. I don't think that's ever going to fail for either of us. That's just how we are. That's a, that's a, there's a book that I really like. It's called the subtle art of not giving a fuck. And I don't remember who the author is. And Mark Manson. Okay. Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> Fuck on it. Uh, that's a good book. And really... Sold 13 million copies. Fuck, ah, geez, whiz. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a good book. Have you listened? I, I take it you're well-versed. Have you read a second book, The Book of Hope? No! There's another one? There's a second book? There's a second book. Oh, I, dude, uh, that'll it, be digested today. I found it in Turkey. Fucking in, A. His book is multiple languages, but I didn't realize he had written a second book either, and I can't remember... He had the subtle arm not giving a fuck, which is the first one. But then the second one is um, same, similar title. But then the the subtitle, the subheading is uh, a book of hope. So I get he, his newsletter every week. So that's there why. you go. Yeah. So does the book of hope? We the, we need to look. We need to know. What the I, title I've, is. I've pivoted my life on a subtle art of not giving a fuck. Yeah, you haven't noticed. Well. I mean, it's one of those things that it's been a long time since I've read the book. And so I'm not sure. I don't recall, but I'm pretty sure I haven't grabbed my junk one time yet. This podcast. 
I'm pretty sure. I almost did, and I slapped Are the chair instead. Are you keeping your hands above on, my, on the table? On, on Quad City here. So you have, you have, uh, uh, yeah, so the second book, the book about hope is Everything is Fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude. Everything is Fucked, a book about hope. But there's still That's hope. That's the second book that was written in 19. I think it's great. Okay, cool. Now I know. I'll probably. He got to start as a blogger and he, you know, his take on, on, uh, just society in general and self-help and all that kind of stuff. And then, um, you know, over time he, he built such a following that he finally kind of put, took everything that he had written about over the, over the course of however many years and put it together in the book of the subtle art of not giving a fuck. That's a killer book. It is a good book. I just started, uh, also I had a friend, uh, uh, ex-girlfriend of mine recently reached out to me about some investment stuff I thought was pretty interesting, uh, Andrea Calabrese. And she, you know, it kind of reminded me that you got to brush up on books every once in a while too. Reread them. Mm-hmm. Of course, because mm-hmm. you forget Re- the ideas. Reread or re-listen. I'm not, not going to sit here and pretend like I'm an avid reader. That would require sitting down. But yeah. I will smash some audio books. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you. You want to get the door? See what's going on. We can. I'll, I'll just talk through it. Brian's checking to see what's going on. Um, real quick, we had a knock at the door, so we're we're figuring that out. And he'll be right back with us here in in just a moment. To uh, do you do you think- technical? You know, my assistant is. You know, it's it's amazing how someone can be so nice but so annoying. Well. Uh, uh, um, what would you call it? Uh, Very attentive. Attentive? Yeah. Only when you hit record. <laughs> Only when I don't need it. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, so like I said, I had this urge that I needed to, to sit down with you and talk to you because I, I was thinking about it and I'm trying to figure out how, how to relax. But like you said, I don't think it's, I'm never going to be fully, I'm never going to be your kind of relaxed. I'm not as fucking relaxed as you think. Well, and I, well, I, I agree with you. I think you're, you're high strung and I think that you, I think I've had a mental breakdown and I've just realized, I think that I, I have let at one point in my life, I was so stressed out that I had to just go, I think it's going to be okay. And then I just kind of was like, ah, and I fall short in areas and I'm not perfect and really not perfect. Um, but everything works out, dude. Like everything works out. It's crazy. As long as you do the right thing morally, right? Kind of one of the, I mean, speeding's one thing, but like helping people is another. And that's one thing I think that people need to focus on more or we need to focus. It doesn't really matter what we're doing as long as we're helping other people in one capacity or other. Whether we talk about subjects that people don't want to talk about or, you know, this is this could create uh you know momentum to communicate with people to create uh fundraisers or groups to go out and help the people that are less fortunate i mean so i would say you're you're high strung you have high expectations but i wouldn't beat yourself up i'm sure not i'm sure not no i know and i don't i don't i think you're i think you have a great temperament well i don't necessarily beat myself up but i do expect i do expect to not make the, uh, not, I can't, not dumb mistake. Like I said, I mean, the video mistakes that I make and the audio mistakes that I make are through ignorance. But at the same time, it's, it's that ignorance that frustrates me because it's I called Dunn and Kroger syndrome. That's what it's called. I didn't, I didn't Seriously. anticipate, you know, like on the first one we did, I didn't anticipate the audio not being in sync, but now that I saw it and it wasn't, and I had to kind of go back through the books and, and read about it. Now, but you've dialed it, it in. But it makes sense to me now mm-hmm. that I did it and made that mistake and now go back. And then it was like, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Just like the video and and when Jackson was here and he was that third camera and I was trying to dial that in and I thought I had it. And then when it went black, when only him was, when only he was speaking, you know, that was an oversight on my part because I think it was just had to do with the camera setup in the machine. So I, you know, I, I just, it was, again, it was an oversight that I just was, I struggle with because of my ignorance and I hate to be ignorant about a subject or a topic or something that I'm trying to put out there. But at the same time, I know that, that, um, 
I, I don't want to say humiliation, but the humility of showing the mistakes that I make is What the hell are you talking about? Is important. There's no there's no humility. Dude, what the Oh, I grabbed it. I did it. I held on to it for a good thirty. God damn it. Uh is it a nervous twitch? It's just there. <laughs> for lack of a better excuse. It's just something to grab onto. That's all I got. No, I'm just kidding. Um, kind of. Uh, so I think you're on, I think you're, yeah, I think you're doing great. I think that we could, if you're really, you know, we've, we've got people that have offered to come and, uh, help us with audio, not necessarily people that you enjoy so much, but you know, I'm just kidding. But, uh, you know, we got some audio nerds that we know and maybe we'll have them out here one of these days. Yeah, but no. I think you're doing great. Dude. I, I really, uh. Every video I've watched, it's like kind of seemed maybe it was off at first, and then you're able to edit it. And I mean, you're really good. You put me in charge of marketing, but your marketing is far more sophisticated than mine. You're you're very sophisticated. Um, I think. Well, you'd be surprised. I can't even figure out how to get get a share vi- uh, sh- share post on Facebook. <laughs> if that's sophistication, dude, I'd have you yeah. walk me through the technical sides of Facebook. <laughs> yeah, dude, Facebook is a dude. I think of it as like an inter- animal. It's like interfaces. How many interfaces do we have to use at work? It's like well, holy smokes. It's no, kind I kind of the same concept, right? It is, but I guess click this button, click that button. But see, you're so mo- you're much more active on it, and so it seems like it's more up your alley than you know. I don't want to. Um, I've tried to. I know that it's some you know social media aspect of it. I know that it's something that you need to have in order to promote whatever you're doing. You know, but I hate it. You know, just like you said in the first one that you hate your phone. But you're constantly... I've been liking it more lately. But you're constantly going on it, and you have a... Um, you're definitely more of the um, Dos Equis man, you know, a more interesting man Whoa. outside of uh, the Whoa. two of us getting together and talking because you're constantly doing stuff. When I have a beard, it's better. Maybe. But, I mean, you cleared the backyard in an afternoon. Why? I don't know. Like, how... You started in one corner, and for whatever reason, it like your 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 energy just kind of it was like it was spooling up. It was kind of like a turbo. Like, it's kind of like your turbo, and mm-hmm. it spooled up until finally you made it over to the other side of the yard, and that's when you know we all saw you on Facebook. Horrible technique. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> possibilities of lost toes Dude. and. Um, just a lot of things could have gone wrong in your video of weed whacking and anybody listening, you don't necessarily want to weed whack like that. It's so let very me, inefficient. Let me touch base on this one thing. Cause I don't want to run. I don't Where are we at? We lose track of time. We're like, we're probably close to 25, 30 minutes now, aren't we? No, we're 12, 12 minutes. Yeah, we're good. Oh, wow. Yeah. Check this out. So I didn't hit record as early as sometimes I you normally didn't catch do. Me off guard. There it is again. Damn, dude. Ah, just tickling the ivories, huh? It's just fucking <laughs> anywhere cup. Um, so, put so you, speaking of, in, speaking of stuff, yes, I scared handcuffs. the living shit. So when I told you the wheeler ran me over, I didn't really go into details, Yeah. but obviously I'm trying to get up that, you know, I used it to drag the rocks around and mm-hmm. so now I'm like getting up this hill and it's running. That was steady. after the weed whacking. Yeah, that was after the weed whacking. So last night I was working on the wheeler and I literally ran myself over with the wheeler and was trapped underneath it. And luckily, but there, my neighbor friend had like a bunch of kids over and I literally was hollering and screaming and telling them that they, like, I, w- I thought I was going to, I was going to get seriously messed up, but luckily they caught it and I was like, dude, I had to get them to push it off me. And it was on an incline, man. I told them I was going to die. I was like, if you guys don't push this on me, it's going to crush me. You know that, right? What, what was, caught? they got it off. No what joke. Was, what was caught on you? Like, dude, I was it took it out of up? gear. I took it out of gear. So was it on your foot? Well, I wasn't in the v- truck when I took it out of gear. So then the fucking tire ran over my foot. And once it got my foot, I was that was game over, dude. Luckily, it's on the light enough unit to where I was able to like. Was it going to roll up your leg? Yeah. It was going to fuck me up. So you were behind it on the downs. On the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, and let me tell you, I learned How'd a lesson. How did you take it out of gear if you were behind it? I was on this. I was just, I reached in there and just because it doesn't have doors. Yeah. And I just put it, and then I didn't realize there wasn't anything blocking it. Not good. Oh, gotcha. Lesson learned there. That thing's almost killed me a couple times already. 
But, you know, and that's like, and one of the things, the kid, the, the dude's like, whoa, it freaked him out. And I was like, you know, it's all good. Get over it. Happened. I'm good. Went for a little jog. Show them I'm all right. They literally had to go home. They're like, dude, I can't do this. I, uh, I can imagine <laughs> what it looks like. I just don't get the fuck over it. After you get run over by your four wheeler. Yeah. And then you're like, no, I'm good. I'm good. Watch. I can run. Yeah. Like I run. Chill and the fuck out. Like, did you run up the driveway? No, just fucking over here. Just back and forth. A couple laps in the yeah. yard. Done deal. Like, let's get over it. See, that's that. It's over. <laughs> that part of your <laughs> mental. <laughs> We'll be more cautious next time. Something like, who does that? I don't know. Who I thought everybody did yard it. Showing, showing. I just wanted that dude. They were scared. I wanted to show them that it's okay. Every once in a while, you just lose control. No shirt on. It was late. I had a shirt on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank God, because that's like hay out there. I know. Let me tell you, I was. Thick. Yeah. Did you see the fire pit and all that shit too? Yeah. Did you just make that? Nope. That's been around. Oh, okay. Did but that. now you uncovered it. Yeah, I did that back in. Good. And I saw the folding there. chairs that are going to be rusty by the time. Those are fucking by the uh, time stadium the, chairs, bro. By the time next week rolls around. Dude, my, my buddy works for the Seahawks. He got me some chairs. The screws. I'll show you. Really? Yeah, I'll show you. Fuck, they're huh. legit, dude. Huh. You were about to get up right now and go get them. No. Oh. I was. <laughs> I was literally going, let me go grab one. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Busted. But. Oops. Uh, That's good stuff, though. No, I know. I it, Well. And getting back to the, I guess when, when, <clears throat> who told you you're uptight, your kids? No, but I, um, and nobody told me I was uptight. They just told me I maybe needed to relax because I did notice in the beginning of the video or in the beginning of the podcast last time, you know, I had said, Hey, that, you know, this is when you talk quiet and I was like, you know, concerned about the audio and it's like, well, you don't, you, everything's fine now. We've, we've bumped you up and everything's dialed in. So that's the one good thing about you know, we kind of adjusted things and made that, but it was me. Um, the audio guy said we're supposed to stay in the green. It looks like we're doing a good job. No, we're, yeah, we're staying and, and the limiter's on. So everything's good and it bumps into the yellow and it, it limits it. So it's, everything's fine and, and you're doing fine. But what I'm saying is that, you know, right out of the gate, I kind of jumped on you about, hey, you got to speak into the microphone. Hey, you got to pay attention to what you're doing. And, you know, hey. I appreciate that stuff. You know, I know, but it, but a lot of people don't. You know, a lot of people see it They're as, sensitive. See it as me, you know, kind of being, you know, kind of attacking or, or, or uh, you know, being a dick, in, uh, you know, lack of a better term. No, nah, right? I know that's not you being a dick. Well, I'm just saying that's kind of, and, and so I recognized it once I watched it back. I don't, I don't necessarily recognize it when I'm in the middle of it or when I'm doing it. And I don't even know, cause I don't ne necessarily know the word of uh, the definition for condescending. Oh, people are telling you that you're condescending to me. Uh, uh -oh. No, but I've been accused of that in the past. Oh, well. so as far as when I have a conversation with somebody, you know, I can be a little bit um, eh, you know, sure. But you're very to the point. You got a lot of shit to deal with. And I'm assuming that's at work. No, I think I'm pretty, uh, what would you call it? You're um, a good communicator. Straightforward. I would. Tend, I'm not putting you on a pedestal or. No, you know. I would tend to say that I'm actually even more. Well, I'm, I'm a lot less, uh, to the point than I used to be in my old employment. Well, yeah. You can't be. It was to the <laughs> point. I'm very. It's 2021, bro. <laughs> very nice about Everything. how I insult you now. <laughs> it's a long game, the long insult. But no, I think you help a lot of people out. Uh, I think you use your position well. Right? Good communicator, help people out. That's cool. So you you don't think I need to relax? Do you think I am relaxed? Do you feel like I'm I'm. I would say I I I don't think you're too too uptight. I think you just need to accept who you are, be who you are, and if people don't like it, they can kiss your ass. They can kiss my ass. If they don't like if someone don't like me, I they really shortly ain't. If it, if we don't drive, people aren't in my life very often, or very long. That's what I notice. But I'm okay with that because I'm doing me. Yeah. And and as long as I feel okay, like you know. I don't know, man. I'm just going to follow what I believe in. 
And if people don't like me, that's kind of their problem because I'm not doing anything to hurt anybody. The only thing I'm doing is helping people. So if you don't like it, show me a better way. And if you can't do that, shut the fuck up. Well, it's an interesting thing because you're one of the few people probably that, at least that I know and that I think a lot of other people know, that can wake up in the morning and there's pretty much, I mean, outside of a work day where you got to go to work. Clean slate. Where, Ready to go. Where you just kind of do whatever comes into your head. Yep. Whatever you want. If, you, okay. if you're going to lay in bed and watch diesel videos. I don't, you know, I don't lay man, in bed and, then, and watch diesel. And then, I sit at the end of the bed. And then take a man for a <laughs> roundabout trip to hear your turbo. Well, that's what you're going to do today. Well, I'm hoping you hang out yeah. so we can get up that goddamn wall. I don't want to get up the wall. All right. Um, I would rather, uh, watch from afar because <laughs> I'm thinking of what's happening after, after we're up that wall, I'd go out, I'd go out four wheeling. It's a little you. sketchy. I'd go that. out four wheeling with you, um, in the woods. It gets a little sketchier than that even way sketchier than that. Than that? Oh yeah. That's low key. Well, okay. But I mean, I've like thought about it. I was like, I've been, I've been gone up. I know, but I, I guess I would rather call search and rescue when we're out in the woods and we were four wheeling and doing something instead of calling them for, to come get us out of your backyard. That's all. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You're now your <laughs> room is going to talk to us. <laughs> Fuck. Why? One thing or another we, we got to see. Well, that's all right. We'll figure that out next time. Thanks cool. Roomba. Yeah. At least I don't have three down here. Yeah. They'd all be talking to that us was all the time. Um, but yeah, so I'd rather, I'd rather call them to come and get us out of the woods because we're stuck or we're rolled over or something like that time. than to call them in the backyard and say, hey, um, I, you know, I know that we're only uh, 30 feet from the house, but we can't get out. We're stuck and we need some assistance. No, we weren't. No way. We got the dizzle up there. There you go. It's Dirt good. bike, touched it, swiped it. One time, I, I, you see how all these trees are perfectly about 20 feet up? The, see? Yeah. So anyways, I had all those branches one day, had a huge pile and just started lighting them up. And in my mind, I was like, you know, I'm just burning branches. Well, and I got the size to do it. I can do it and pull it off, but the neighbors across the gully didn't think so. And Burn they called man. the fire department. Oh. And let me tell you, they told me, they're like, we're going to the fire department. And I was like, oh boy, this is not good. And so I started, luckily I started putting the fire out. But man, when they got there, I was literally like charcoal black because I kind of panicked and like. Put they did. I did. Oh, was, the fire department didn't panic. You panicked. Well, they they thought it was hilarious. Oh, because when they showed up, I was literally black. Like I was covered in charcoal. Why? Putting the fire out. We rolling around in it. It or was something? a massive fire. I know, but so I don't know how it happens. I guess the smoke gets on your face. Did you? Know. Did they tell you it was okay to burn? No, they were not happy. Okay, so you can't burn. Well, you can in a small way. Yeah, you gotta have like like a campfire. In, in, in like yeah, you gotta have like campfire. You can't do like so in, in muscle till okay, So can't that's do the difference between bonfires. say let's let's we'll take that for that's a perfect example. The difference, which is good, because I think that's what you know helps us uh, get along, is that you see a pile of branches and you want to uh, throw gasoline on them and light a match and, and have the biggest fire you could possibly uh, create. One, efficiency, burn them all at once. Two, because it'd be cool to have a bigger fire. And whereas I would stack them all up and one branch at a time and burn all day yeah. in a low and controlled manner. I'll get five piles and run, a, run gasoline to each one of them. and. <laughs> I know you. Watch the whole thing. So what, what, what but you, be ready to put it out. You know? I know, but what makes you like? I don't know. What makes I, you do that? What makes you go like this is a way better idea? Do we need? I think that's a psychiatrist issue. I don't know. I feel to me it seems totally normal. So I don't know. I don't think it's my. Okay, I blame it on my dad. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I blame it on my childhood. Blame on my childhood. My whole childhood, he was doing shit like that. Do you remember one time we but they could then blew up they the could shed. then I was like ten years when I first started building houses we would just burn all the scrap we yeah. didn't rent a dumpster we threw the glue tubes in there we threw the wrappers in there we threw the wood in there and we burned all day when you were done cutting rafter tails you chucked them in the fire wow that's efficient and then we got in trouble because then it turned like 1999 and we couldn't do that any longer or or 2000 
came wow. in 2000. We couldn't do that any longer. So, so the, that's when it all started. The new, the new century, yeah. I was that's 11. When, that's when everything got crappy. You were 11? Yeah. Mm. And, you were, and you were making big fires with your father. Mm -hmm. And it scarred you. Whatever we were doing. Yeah, he's pretty rowdy, man. That's cool. I think about that. So, so he's the same as you were. I mean, he's like 60 some odd years old now, dude. He has slowed way the F down. It is sad. But you, he was like you when at this age. I get it. When you were 11, he was like you are. My whole life, it's like, oh God, oh God, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. And now it's like, okay. Yeah, I, I get it. But I had to like, really just be quiet, you know? Like, if I was like, Dad, please slow down. He'd be like, Do you want, I'll just let you out of the car. <laughs> I'm like, no, that's good too. Just, he w he is a man of few words. Very few. Yeah. And he didn't have much to say to man, me. Man, he just and sometimes like when I when I met him, he didn't yeah. have anything to say. He didn't care. He wanted. And your dad told me I look like I'm 50. He wanted to eat. Yeah. At My China at the China house. Oh yeah. Golden yeah, my, house. Golden house. Golden. My dad's gonna. That was racist. Man. My dad's gonna tell you. He's pretty straightforward guy as well. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're both fishermen. My dad only fished for seven years though. Yours did a whole career out of the deal. Yep. Well, and you, yeah, there was no beating around the bush on the on a on a crab boat. He just said, that's dangerous. Said what it is. Yeah. That's, so. But that's how it's supposed to be. That's how it should be. Very few words. When safety's involved, let's cut the chit chat down. Yeah. When we're doing heavy quit, you don't. It's like people don't get that. They think I got off their opinion. It's like you offering your opinion could have just killed me. Yeah, because I could have swung the bucket and knocked you just out. And whatever. Put you in a hole. People, oh, you hit one dude. <laughs> all right well i don't know you feel better i feel better I, I feel like i got it off my chest i didn't i don't think i solved anything uh, i think that's gonna come i think you're gonna process more and and i'm glad you got it out there but i don't think that anybody thinks that you're uptight if anything just consider it high standards um if i if i hang on because if i remember correctly no, that wasn't uptight. That was <laughs> never mind. Loosey goosey. No, I know I'm loosey goosey. That unpredictable. Unpredictable. <laughs> Man, I knew we were having a podcast today. When you said, when you gave me my heads up yesterday, I was like, oh yeah, we we're having a podcast. No. Predictable as fuck, and I oh. like it. That's cool, man. Nobody's predictable anymore except for you. Well, no, I I was what I was thinking of was, and I I it doesn't matter. I, I had the the elitist comment when I ever when I got the elitist. Oh, and, um, who's called you an elitist again? That sucks. <laughs> no, not again. <laughs> oh, good, good. Oh, All man. it takes is one time. Yeah, dude. Well, that was years. That wasn't. That was what 2018. I don't care. It stuck with me. I had to look up the definition. I still we need can't. to get that. Well, I still that out here can't remember uh, why. I think I was stirring the pot, maybe. But God damn it, if it didn't piss me off. Well, but he, it's a misunderstanding on his part. Not I'm yours. not an elitist. I'm just better than... I get it. I get it. I get that. You are at that particular task. Dude, when people are better than me, I'm like, bro, you're an elite. You're, that's elite shit right there. You're better than me. Cool. Let's be friends. A lot of people, when people are better than them, they fucking run. Somebody's better than me, let's hang out. We have to. Teach me. Yeah. If you want to be better. Easy money. Well, we'll get him out here and we'll, uh, he'll square away the audio. He probably knows how to work this whole thing. Yeah. And we're referring to uh, Matt McNeil. <laughs> Way to, AKA Stitch. <laughs> Way to call him out. Dude, well, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Names. Well, I can't get in trouble. I mean, right? I can. No, I know. And, and I mean, like I said, that's what's he going to do. Get mad at me. It was water under the bridge, but I mean, it was just one of those. Well, maybe we can get him me. to explain. And I, I, you know what? I bet it was you that probably, I was probably stirring some something stuff. that came up or you guys were having a conversation and then you were decided, Oh, this is going to be funny. And then came and told me and probably tattled on him. So shame on you. And we did kick their ass though. For being a tattletale. When we, we out bucked them hard. All right. All right, well, let's wrap it up. I guess, I guess I'll just keep being uptight. I guess. I mean, I, I think you should just do you, man. I am. Feel comfortable in your skin. I don't know. It's like. I don't feel uncomfortable. Good. That's all that matters, man. But We're doing it. We're making big things, you know. We're helping each other grow. I figured the wall would be painted by now. 
Uh, you had a whole day. Well, actually, I envisioned that, and so that was kind of well. That. And only people can see on the 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 wood behind your head. Either way, we got a piece of sweet dark walnut right there. Black walnut. Black walnut. Yeah. It is pretty nice. Oh, wait till they uh, see what happens. That's the cool part. Yeah. You know? I like to tease. All right. We'll wrap it up. Okay. Thanks yeah. for sitting down. Thanks for taking a half an hour out of your, uh, out of your day today. Yeah. Dude, my wheeler's warmed up. We're going to go climb a hill. It's all good. I'm good. I'm, I'm leaving. Okay. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not driving any <laughs> wheeler with you. Like I said, I want to get stuck in the woods, not in your backyard. Yeah. Well, let me get a pro- Yeah. Got the test track, so it's all good. All right. Till the next time, next week, whatever. Okay. Adios. This has been the Industrious Guy Podcast. Thank you for listening. Find me at industriousguy.com.